Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a drift car in Trailmakers. So let's get started. Now, of course, we gotta go ahead and go to build mode here and let's get the rounded two by four piece out. So um, I usually start off with a seat in these builds, but today I am not. Today we are going for uh, just the front of the car. When I do car builds, I like to get the design down first and then add all the functional parts later. So now that we got that, let's go back to the rounded pieces. Now you don't have to do this exact build at all. You can do it however you'd like. Um, you can have uh, sharper pieces instead of the round pieces like I'm doing here. And yeah, make it however you like. Uh, you are not limited in this game at all. You can go really far to uh, a shape of like a very round car or very far onto a very sharp car or just a very minimalistic uh, frame of a car. So whatever you'd like to do, you can go ahead and do that. So um, here is the front half that is almost done. Um, like I said, it's going to be a little bit more intricate than normal builds that I do just because I'd like, uh, you know, more advanced people to, you know, get a good idea for what their car is going to look like and just have it all around better design. So now that we got that going, let's go ahead and get the grill here. And what I'm going to do is actually add some skirts on the front. So I love a drift car to be really low to the ground. I think it just looks really, really cool. So as you can see, there is the front. All we got to do is just add some lights, something like this, angle them so they're kind of pointing inward, just like that. And then we'll copy them on this side and flip them. Cool. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is move back. Now, of course, we need the hood, but I love a wide body kit on a car, especially for a drift car. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with something like this. Um, let's build off of this front half first here. So let's go ahead and go like that. Go like that. Now you could always go in mirror mode. I like to go in mirror mode sometimes. Um, you just go to advanced and then uh, mirror mode right here. But of course, this object is not symmetrical because I am not building uh, in mirror mode, so that's fine. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and flip it and do the same exact thing on this side. Now um, I usually build half the car, copy it like, you know, drag and click like this, and then just copy it on that side. So um, it'll be easier just for the tutorial for me to be showing you guys just the one side at a time. But like I said, you can always just do mirror mode if you'd like. So um, as I was saying in the beginning of the video as well, we can actually get these. Um, I like, you know, I like my builds to be very uh, close and very intricate. So what I'm doing here is adding the little wheel wells. Um, just like so. And as you can see here, uh, a normal wheel will fit on the outside. But of course, when we go in, um, these little angled pieces are obstructing that. So what we're going to be doing is getting some pistons and connecting it to the wheel. Um, but for a drift car, you don't want to use the racing wheels because they just have really, really good grip. We're actually going to be using the slim wheel that look like a bicycle. So let's go ahead and flip that like so. Now that we have that, um let's go ahead and get the piston out just like so so this is just an example i'm not gonna not gonna connect anything yet here but as you can see the piston will pull in the wheel so we're gonna do that later but that's just uh to explain to you guys why I, why i'm allowed to do it this way and uh you know not get wrecked by all that uh obstruction in the game so now that we have that let's connect this and we can actually copy this and put it on the other side now. So something just like that. There we go. Scoot it over. And that looks like a wide body if I have ever seen one. So uh, it's looking really, really good. Um, while we're here, let's go ahead and copy this and just take it to the back. Oh, totally missed it there. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just scoot it all the way to the back. Um, I'm not sure how long I really want this. This will probably change um, the distance, the wheelbase here. Um, just for the meantime though let's go ahead and add the doors so something like that and like that looks about good and we'll just copy it over here on this side so um as i said in the beginning i really enjoy doing drift cars i really find it really really fun to just drive around especially on this flat world here um that's why i have us in this little super flat looking map just because you know you won't hit any blocks you won't hit any 
you know, hills or anything like that. So this is looking good. I actually like the distance here. Now, like I said, we might actually have to shorten this or lengthen this depending on how uh, long we want the hood and then also how long and how tall we would like the uh, actual glass as well. So let's go ahead and go like this to get the glass going. Now, I think I'm going to do two and then four will work the best. There we go. Four in the middle. There we go. So now that we got that, let's copy it and just raise it up like so. I think that looks pretty good. I like the glass just starting right behind the wheel. I might even scoot it forward one, but that's looking really good. I actually like that. So um, something like this. And you could always do like some cool swoop motions on the front of the car, you know, maybe something like uh, here. I'll show you actually now that we're here something like this it gives it cool like little air vents maybe um, but it's totally up to you is however you'd like to you know make your car but uh, i'm just going to keep it a normal flat hood i like the the old-fashioned looking kind of street car kind of fast and furious kind of stuff so something like that just looks really clean and nice to me so uh let's go ahead and continue on with the glass here let's move it all the way across like so and I think I'm not going to have it that big because I would like this to kind of just have a hatchback um, style in the back here. So something like that. And let's do it. Hmm. I say right there is fine. Let's do that and add the big one. Where is that one? Is there one of these two by two by two? There we go. Two by four by two. Perfect. And let's add this guy here. Go ahead and raise it up. And of course, you can always change how far or how close you want it. That actually fits perfectly. And I actually like the way that looks. So we're going to keep it like that. Uh, a little bit more simple too. So there is that. And we'll build the roof going all the way across. That's looking really, really cool. But just for the glass sake, I think I'm going to actually just take out this guy here and go right here and we'll put just the single pieces um i'm only doing this for the future you don't have to do this but um in the future of this build uh this is going to be glass as you probably want to do that on yours as well so um of course we can do that later but let's go ahead and move on towards the back end of the car um something like that and then of course fill in these little gaps here now every speedy kind of race car and things like that any drift car has to have a spoiler so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the spoiler here something not too crazy i again it's as intricate as i said this is going to be it's really not that intricate uh it's not that scary so um what we're gonna do is go like that and we are actually gonna connect just two of these guys on just like so and that's about it that's all i do for a spoiler Okay, so now moving on towards the back end here, what we're going to do is basically just drop down this half. Let's go ahead and put that back. There we go. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is actually scoot it out by doing the same kind of bumper system in the front here. Uh, just these two rounded bits. Oh, totally missed it. So like that. And then we're going to copy it and just bring it all the way across like so. That's looking really cool. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and build off of that just like as we did in the front. But um, we're going to have to have a little bit of a swoop in the back and make it look a little bit more like a race car or a drift car or something like that. So something like that. Perfect. It looks really cool. Um, now we can always add exhaust. You can always just, you know, take out a block in the middle or take out two blocks and put an exhaust and scoot this in again. I like mine really, really clean, so uh, this is just how I'm going to do mine, but it's totally up to you guys on uh, how you'd like to do your car. That's what's awesome about this game, is that there's just so many things that you get to do that, you know, uh, you kind of have a whole free will kind of aspect when it comes to it. So, um, we are going to get these lights. I like the red lights. It just has to go in the back, you know, it just looks right. So, perfect. Um, now that we have the frame of the car and that is all done, let's check the front here. What do we have missing? Uh, this is not connected. So something like, actually we'll do two, three by ones. Perfect. Okay. So as I was saying, um, now that we have the frame of the car done, all we have to do is add the mechanical parts. So as I said, uh, in the beginning, 
what we're going to have to do is get some pistons and uh, actually have them pull inward. So let's go ahead and go like this. That should be good, just like that. And we will copy this and do this on the front and the back. Um, so something like that. Perfect. Now the front ones are actually going to have to be um, in one more. And that's just because you're going to need turning in the front. So something like that. And then we're going to copy it. And then something like that. Now you can always put suspension um, to connected to these pistons here. But for me, I just feel like it doesn't work as good when you're drifting. I think having a very solid, solid car, um, especially on a smooth surface like this, it just drives way, way better. So um, we are going to set these pistons up and connect them to the frame of the car, just like so. Now, you could always connect this by putting an engine in here. But as a drift car, you really don't need it all that powerful. So um, we will be totally fine. So now that there's that, we're going to get these pistons. Um, we are going to turn off any controls that there might be connected to the seat. And then start position. You're just going to have to mess around with this um, depending on how wide your car is. So um, especially because these are different lengths. So I might have to change that. But let's just guess and do 0 0.25. Let's see how that goes. Now, um, also what I said at the beginning of the video is get these uh, smooth wheels here so like that and then we'll copy them and bring them in now we're gonna have to check okay so that's actually too far in so let's go here and we'll do 0 0.45 let's see what that looks like so that actually looks perfect they actually look like they're just in line with the frame of the car so that's very nice now you could always paint over these wheels with the decals and all that kind of stuff if you'd like um, but for me, I think it looks kind of fine. Like I don't, I don't really find a problem with it, but, um, some people don't like the way that it looks like a bicycle wheel, which I totally understand. But, um, because I don't really mind, I'm not really going to do anything too crazy with it. I'm just going to add some engines in here and, uh, move on to the seat and that should be it. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and move this back. Now with a drift car, I find that having a, uh, having a heavier weight in the back of the car really lets it whip around. So um, always try and maybe add a weight. But before we do that, we're going to try and test driving it and see how it works, see how it feels. And then we'll do a little bit of critiquing um, from that point on. So now that we got the seat in there, let's go ahead and give it a spin. So, oh, I forgot about the seat controls. Uh, pistons, turn off the seat controls. There we go. So now that we got this guy, not too fast, but uh, we are kind of drifting a little bit. So we're going to have to add some more horsepower in this guy. And the best way to do that is by adding some heavy, big engines just like this. So that should be just about enough. And as you can see, we're doing burnouts as we are starting to even drive. So we are starting to drift. Maybe there's a little bit too much weight in the back, but that's totally fine. Um, now that we have that going though, we know that we can drift. Let's go ahead and make the uh, hinges here. Let's do about a 55 angle and just test that out. Now everyone's car is going to be a little bit different, but of course if you're following, whoa, if you're following um, the way that I'm doing it, you can see that, uh, you know, we, we might need to do a little bit more uh, critiquing and adjusting with everything in here. So, so far, um, let's make it a two seater just like that and let's see what the problem is now for now I feel like it's working pretty good but um, depending on your car you're gonna have to do some adjustments so surprisingly after adding that second seat I think it's a lot more balanced and we are drifting perfectly fine so with that said I'm gonna go ahead and paint this guy up and I will be right back All right, you guys, well, I am back. And as you guys can see, we have got ourselves a pretty cool looking drift car. So um, the spoiler in the back actually helps keep the back end down and not slide out too much, but uh, it works just enough to, as you can see, we can make some pretty good donuts and even some sharper donuts right here, just like that. 
So yeah, very cool. Uh, there was one more thing I just wanted to do, uh, just like I did at the front here, is we actually can add these skirts um, on just like this. So it's looking really, really cool like this. I am so hyped to drive this thing around. Um, I am going to probably find some modded maps and uh, hopefully go and drive this thing around and have some fun. So I hope you guys do the same as me. And as you can see, this thing is looking awesome. If you guys want to see anything else just like this, go ahead and leave a comment down below and uh, tag me and other people that you think would be really good at making a drift car. So anyways, whoa, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys in the next one.